So today we are going to make two fraction flip books. So I am going to talk to you about the resources or the tools you'll need and the steps to do this. So first thing you're going to need is four different colors of construction paper and the construction paper needs to be 12 inches by 9 inches. So you've got your four different colors. You're going to need scissors, a ruler, a pencil, and a post-it note or an index card with a square corner. Something small with a right angle will be helpful. I will use a pen and marker instead of a pencil so that you can see what I'm doing, but you use a pencil so that you can erase if you need to. Okay, so we're going to start with two colors. Everybody needs to be using the same two colors. So we're going to use, we're going to start off with the pink and the green. So with the green paper, you're going to put it horizontal so that the top and the bottom is the entire length of the ruler. It's 12 inches, okay? So we are going to fold it like a hot dog with a horizontal line, but we're not going to fold it right in half. We're going to leave about an inch lip down here on the bottom so that it has a little flap on it. So when I fold it, and you want to try to keep these edges as straight as you possibly can. So once you have those edges straight, start from the middle, increase out, correct it if you need to. But as you can see, it's not directly in half. You've got about an inch lip there. Then we're going to put the green paper underneath. And you also want it to have about an inch on the bottom. So I'm going to bring this down so that there's about an inch. It doesn't have to be a, exactly an inch. If I use my thumb, that's about an inch. I want this side straight, this side as straight as possible. And then I'm gonna fold it as close to that edge as possible. So now you've got one, two, three, four flaps. And notice how the edges are straight. I'm going to do the same thing with my other two papers. I'm going to start with my orange paper. Again, I'm going to fold it down. I'm going to leave about an inch here on the edge, and I'm going to make sure my edges are straight. So I'm going to fold it like this. And then you see that there's about an inch. I'm a little bit over. Let me correct it. And then I'm going to leave about an inch here on the bottom. And then an inch on the bottom with the blue. And I'm going to fold it as close to this as I can, making sure that my edges here are as straight as possible. Now, not all of these papers are exactly the same size. So one paper might hang over a tiny bit and that's okay. All right, so that's how you construct the two flat books. In the next video, I am going to show you how to label them.